change is constant in the natural world. But I have never experienced such sudden changes in temperature or climate as this year. Now, during January, we had Winter Storm Helena blow through. And that was a big snow, a really fun video, and uh, I thought winter was on. But then, after that, it warmed up, and it had been 70 degrees for so long. Then this happened. A couple days ago, I was chasing frogs, salamanders, toads, and turtles, and all these ponds, and shorts, and a t-shirt. And that was, you know, what, four days ago? Four days ago, I was knee deep in mud, searching for dusky salamanders. We got some exploring in. We found a really cool salamander just yesterday, actually. So I'll let you see that now. Now I have never found the species of salamander ever before. We just flipped this log. I've been flipping all year long, trying to find one of these guys. Never found this species ever before. This is really exciting. Look how beautiful he is. I'm shaking, I'm so excited. The reason these guys are so important is because salamanders are actually pretty prevalent in these forests and like frogs, they eat lots of invertebrates like mosquitoes that can carry diseases which are not good for humans. Now, this is actually a pretty large specimen. As you can see, his tail constitutes almost half of his body length and it looks like he actually have a part of his tail. You see at the end there's that little nub where his tail has been bitten off and regenerated a little bit, which is cool. But he's just, he's very chill right now. He's just kind of crawling along my hands. And the reason he's so slow is because it's only about 50 degrees right now. And normally, I don't find these guys, except for during the summer, but he's, you know, very relaxed right now. He's actually probably happy to be perched on something a little bit warmer than the ground. But we'll get him right back under this log because these guys are awesome to find. And he has to get buried before this snow happens or he will die. So we're going to make sure we get this guy back where he belongs and give him plenty of time to prepare for the snow. But that's an awesome find. Really glad I could show this to you guys. Slimy salamanders get their name from their epidermal secretions, which act like a natural glue. I was also able to educate some younger explorers on the importance of these animals in our ecosystems and how to properly handle them. See you, Hubble? Yeah. There he goes. Whoa, that's so cool. See? So if you guys ever find these again, you know why they're so important now. I never pass up on an opportunity to educate someone on wildlife, especially kids, as such experiences help them to grow into conservation-minded adults. So there you guys go, that's a slimy salamander. This really was a surprising and unexpected find for me, as it's the very first slimy salamander I have ever discovered, and it was in the middle of winter to boot. Alright, so we're just gonna get him right back here where we found him and get this leaf out of the way ah, let go all right there we go so that's just where we found him right under this log we'll let him relax there and hopefully he'll have enough time to get buried before the snow i also found these strange looking eggs under one log now these are actually leopard slug young, which will hatch into little slimy invertebrates in a few weeks. The last thing I noticed about the pre-snow wildlife patterns was an overabundance of robins. I observed more birds foraging for food in one place than at any other time in my life. That leads me to believe that perhaps these robins have some way of sensing a barometric pressure drop, which would alert them that a storm is on the way before it's too late. When the snow actually came, however, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it might be. Spring vegetation stood out against the white covering, refusing to be subdued by the icy crystals. Less than an inch stuck, and only remained for a few hours. Alright to you, Report. thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. So hopefully that was winter's last breath, and now we can look forward to lots of awesome animals as spring and summer emerge. As always, thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe right now, because new wildlife content will be coming out every single week. But that's all for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. This is The Wild Report, signing out.